In this video, we're going to show you how to replace an aerator. So why would you want to replace an aerator? If you turn on your faucet and you have weak or no flow, then you probably want to replace it. And replacing it is going to give you that flow that you see here. You could also replace the aerator in order to save water. Now there's two types of aerators, one that's hidden and one that's not. This is the one that's not hidden. And in order to replace this, it's very easy. Just turn it to the right and it comes off. Now what you're going to see in here, there's going to be some debris. And this debris is going to be responsible for blocking the water. And with that blockage, you're going to get less flow. As I remove this one here, you can see what's in here. There's this little rock here, this little pebble that's really going to go ahead and obstruct that flow. So sometimes because you have a lot of debris, the flow is not as good. And you can see on here, that's a decent sized rock. So over time, it just accumulates more debris and it restricts your flow. So what I'm going to do here is just clean this aerator out because the aerator is good. It just needs to be cleaned out and you need to do this to your faucets once in a while. So if you have a faucet in the bathroom that doesn't have a good steady flow, chances are that it's your aerator and these are very easy to change. Now there's also another type of aerator that's a little bit more difficult to get to. This one is hidden under the faucet as you can see. And for that, you're going to need a key like this. If you check out the description, I have a link. But you're going to need that key and these grooves are going to get into that aerator where you see the little grooves and we're going to use this tool to remove that aerator. In the description I do have a link to the Kohler kit that I'm using here which comes with an aerator and a tool to remove it. So check out the description where I have the link. This kit is obviously for a Kohler faucet. They do make kits for mowing but I do have in the description a link to universal kit that will work on both. Most kits will come with the aerator that you see here and then it comes with a tool and this tool is used to remove the aerator. You can see where it has those teeth there that's going to go up in the aerator like this and once it locks in you can go ahead and start turning it to the right to remove the aerator. You can see the teeth fit right in there and then we're going to go ahead and just turn it to the right again and it should come off. Now you might have to pry a little bit in the beginning but it will come off. And it's the same premise. We're going to go ahead and remove it. Once we remove it, we're going to inspect it. If we can clean it, we'll clean it. If not, we'll go ahead and replace it with a new one. Once you get the aerator loosened up with a tool, now you can just use your fingers to go ahead and remove it like I'm doing here. And once we remove it, we can inspect it to see if we need to replace it or if we can clean it. As you can see, this one is really, really dirty and it's definitely impeding the flow of water. And you can see here, there's a lot of sand. And this is typical over the years, sand and debris will accumulate on the aerator and they're going to restrict the flow of water without a doubt. So you can see what happens when you use a faucet without an aerator. You can see that the stream is everywhere, the water goes everywhere. So the aerator is very important in maintaining that nice steady stream and preventing that water from going everywhere. Now I am trying to clean this and remove as much debris as I can and I'm actually going to use an electric toothbrush here to see if I can remove some of it and if I can save the aerator I will go ahead and use it again. If not I'll just use the aerator that came with a cola kit that you can find in the description. You can see this aerator is actually very dirty still after cleaning it so I might not use it but this aerator here is specific to this Kohler so when you buy the kit or when you buy aerators you have to buy it specifically for the faucet that you have. This one is an 18.5 millimeter and here we have the new one that came with the kit which is 18.5 as well. The only difference between the old one and the new one that came with the kit is the new one allows more water. So I believe this is a 1.5 gallons per minute and the old one was only 1.2 gallons. So the aerator not only gives you a nice stream but can be used to save water as well. To put the aerator back I basically started with my fingers here and then to get it nice and tight I'll use the tool again as you see here. It's going to grab on and when it grabs on you're going to go ahead and turn it to the left and it's going to tighten in there. So if your problem is not one where you don't have a good steady stream and you want to save water you can actually replace your aerator with one that restricts the flow and you can see here once the aerator is installed and I turn on the faucet it's a nice steady stream again I went from a 1.2 to a 1.5 gallon so there's a little bit more water there in the description I have a link for this universal kit here that has all these tools for different faucets and different aerators this is a good kit to have because if you have different faucets you have everything here that you need in order to remove those aerators so there's different sizes here and different gallons per minute. The one I used was the 18.5 millimeter. That's the one that fits on the Kohler. But you have all different sizes here for all different brands and models. So I hope this has been informative and it helped you out. And now your faucet is working again. Please subscribe for more videos and we'll see you on the next one.